Hey there folks, Zach Smith, Pest Dude. Hey, got something cool in the mail today and I want to tell you about it. 45% vinegar, okay? Toxic stuff. Very common ingredient in do-it-yourself herbicide. You want to burn your weeds down. You don't want to use Roundup or something really chemical. A lot of people recommend mixtures that include vinegar, okay? Now, if you use the vinegar from your kitchen, that's only 5%. This is 45%, okay? It already comes right away with first aid instructions on it. Concentrated industrial strength, okay? This is toxic stuff. So when you handle this, this is why organic stuff isn't necessarily safer to handle, maybe safer to eat, because this is biodegradable and will just go into the natural system and go away. But right here, it has a danger label, okay? So in pesticide and other things, we have warnings, we have dangers, we have cautions, right? Caution is typically, hey, just take it easy, but you're gonna be fine. Warning is, I need your attention. This is a little more uh, risky, and danger is the top, is danger, okay? This will burn your eyes. This will burn your mucous membranes. If you breathe a whiff of this, you're gonna be retching, okay? You're gonna have chemical burns in your throat, potentially, potentially, okay? Um, you can get much higher concentrates of this, okay? I didn't wanna handle that myself, I don't need it. Horticultural vinegar, which is a which is an herbicide in itself, is near 100% vinegar. Uh, strong, gnarly acid, okay? Um, this says here, if you get in your eyes, take out your contact lenses and immediately flush with water for 20 minutes. You get this in your eyes, you have to wash your eyes for 20 minutes. Okay, ingestion. Ah, never mind any of that. And, uh, skin, remove contaminated clothing. If you spill this on your clothes, rip your clothes off, okay? Rinse your skin with water, take a shower um, with some soap and water, and then seek medical attention, okay? This is... This is serious stuff, but what are you gonna do? You're gonna put this in a sprayer and you're gonna spray weeds with it. Now you could add dish soap and an, a light oil, a vegetable oil or a, um, mineral oil. Uh, you could even add, if you were to, I'm not giving you a prescription, but you could add things like paint thinner or kerosene or lighter fluid. Those are all very light oils, okay? Those are gonna help this stick to the plant leaf. The issue with plant leaves is they are covered with waxy cuticle. This will not necessarily stick long enough to do its job, which is to burn the plant down chemically, okay? So adding some soap will help it stick. That's a surfactant. That's easy. And then other people will say add salt and such. I wouldn't put salt in your soil. You want to grow stuff there? Don't use salt, okay? This, some uh, dish soap, and maybe a little bit of oil. That would probably be all you need, okay? Um, I'm not backing any brand. This was just easily available on Amazon. There's lots, there's nothing to vinegar. It's not like one brand or another has a recipe on vinegar. Vinegar is vinegar, okay? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, tips, or tricks, or things you've tried, war stories, horror stories, things you'd warn others about, reach out to us at The Pest Dude. We have a contact us form. We love to hear from our users, our guests, our friends. And our job here is to teach you to be careful, read your warning labels and your safety precautions if you're gonna do pest control yourself because this is not no brainer stuff. Otherwise, we wouldn't have an issue. Pest Dude out. All right, one more thing. Since you don't need to send you somewhere else, look, you wanna make your own herbicide with this stuff one to one ratio. So one gallon of, of the vinegar, one gallon of water, add a couple tablespoons of dish soap and a cup of salt if you want, but I'm telling you salt's bad for soil. Salt's not good for soil typically. I mean, it'll rinse out with some irrigation, but one to one vinegar, the 45% stuff, okay? And a couple tablespoons at most of dish soap. Salt is your choice. Good luck, happy spraying. Wear eye protection, please. Eye protection, gloves, be safe.